From Brooklyn, New York, this is the inaugural Texture Style Awards 2021. Hosted by celebrity hairstylist, author, and Texture Style Awards creator, Monet Everett. That's me, y'all. Tonight is a night filled with beauty industry humor, diversity, and accolades. We honor Beauty Media of the Year recipients, Nina Tulio and Mr. Jay Latner for their podcast, No Stylist Left Behind, created for stylists by stylists. Change Agent of the Year, Ms. Kia Neal, has created a name for herself as the outspoken industry activist we all need. And the Texture Style Awards will name the 2021 New Talent Stylist of the Year. Tonight's presenters include Matrix Global Artistic and also Pro Team member, Michelle O'Connor. Wildly popular bridal updo educator, Laura Chihaya, better known as Lala's Updo's, Clear All educator, Oliver Adams, who's best known as Color King, and well, a global educator, Brianna Cisneros. I just celebrated two decades in this industry, and trust me, I have seen some things, many beautiful and amazing things that made me fall passionately in love with both the beauty and the entertainment industry. But I've also seen a lack of appreciation for inclusive beauty and minority stylists who create amazing looks on all hair textures. So I decided to do something about it and I created the Texture Style Awards. While some may say beauty standards portrayed in the media aren't important, <laughs> I disagree because the media can influence, manipulate, and control the narrative around what is acceptable and considered beautiful. I am thankful every time I work with a celebrity to make a political statement through her hairstyle choice. Still, in 2021, each time they choose to walk the red carpet and show their natural hair texture, it's still a political statement. It warms my heart when a young person sees themselves represented in the media, on magazines, on TV, and runway shows, and they feel more beautiful. Representation truly matters in every aspect of the world. Texture Style Awards is the first award show made specifically to celebrate all hair textures, all standards of beauty, and hairstylists of all ethnicities. While we would have loved to have the show in person, this is a great time to use the arts to remind us of how we got here. Dancer Ashley Rose Nicholas reminds us how we got here and what many of us were doing in the beginning of lockdown to pass time. So many of us truly fell in love with social media, dances, and trends. some fun tonight. Laura Chiaya, or Lala, known by most as the artist behind Lala's Updo brand, is a bridal stylist and an educator who travels all around the world as an educator, sharing her passion for upstyling with fellow artists through her educational program and hair show performances. Owner of Lala's Updo Bridal Studio, Lala trained in Europe and in the United States. She has had work published in prestigious magazines from the beauty industry, including Modern Salon. Lala has rapidly become a leader in our industry through her large variety of styles, social media, and hair tutorials. Hello everyone and welcome to the first ever Texture Style Awards. My name is Laura Chihaya. I am the face behind Lala Sabji's brand and I am so honored to be part of the first ever Texture Style Awards first as a judge and now as a presenter. And without further ado, 
The nominees for the 2021 straight hair category are Eugene Davis, who trusts and believes in the fabric of hair and all the unlimited possibilities that allow her to explore. Second, we have Angelica Mirella Tanza, who loves to create braided styles and for her entry, she chose a style resembling the waves. Lynn Levesque, who states the galaxy is full of stars and she wants to be one of them. Kylie Williams, that had the beautiful rose as an inspiration for her entry. And the 2021 Straight Hair Stylist of the Year goes to Angelica Mirella Tanza. I want to thank you everyone who vote for me and support me. Without your support, I cannot do it. Um, I like to enter in competition to see if I'm better, to get better and gain more uh, confidence in me. Uh, I want to congratulate to other competitors because they have a wonderful uh, work and uh, they deserve to be no nominated. Thank you so much. Our first honor of the night is New Talent Stylist of the Year. As the submissions poured in for the Texture Style Awards, I have to admit, I hoped there would be a unicorn. You know, someone who would sweep every category, someone who would display their love for styling all four hair textures within their artistry. While there were over 350 beautiful, creative, and distinct entries by over 100 entrants, there was one hairstylist who stood out above the rest. With four images across three categories, the highest of any entrant earning their way into the semifinalist round through votes by our esteemed judges. Tonight, we honor new talent stylist of the year 2021, Miss Joy Williams. Hi guys, Joy Williams Beauty here. I cannot express how honored and humbled I am to receive this amazing honor, the 2021 New Talent of the Year from the Texture Style Awards. This is truly mind blowing. If you can see my vision board in the back and those of you that believe in the power of manifestation, one of the things I started you in years ago was leaving a little bit of room on my vision board for my mind to be blown. Well, this certainly qualifies. Thank you guys so much. Thank you to the Texture Style Awards. Thank you to all of the sponsors, Nioxin, From, Fabulous, Wella Company, absolutely amazing. Clairol, thank you guys so much for believing in the vision, for knowing that textured hair is not an anomaly, but it is the norm. Thank you so much to Monet Everett. You have been, I have watched you for so many years and I'm so honored to even be in contact and communication with you, for you to break down the barriers and bust through the doors that you have in this industry and then take it a step further and reach back for us. I appreciate you. I certainly plan on following in those footsteps. Thank you so much to everyone who even believed in themselves enough to enter one entry. That's huge, that's amazing. Congratulations to all of the finalists. Um, you are my fellow soul tribe, and I am so happy to have met so many of you, both in person and online. Thank you so much to my personal soul tribe, my family, my friends. Guys, I could not have done any of this without you. Thank you for continuing to give me the encouragement to believe in myself, even in those times where I feel like it's, you know, it's hard to do so. Um, textured hair is such our world is so beautiful and it is such not an anomaly. It's not a surprising thing. It is the norm and I am so appreciative for everyone involved in the Texture Style Awards to make sure that people understand that all textures are beautiful and that all hairstylists should be able to know, know how to do all textures. Thank you guys so much. Love you. Let's keep this night going with a reminder of the things we have in common. Whether it's dealing with crazy clients, eccentric coworkers, or unrealistic expectations, Let's take a moment to collectively exhale and release with a little laughter. What's poppin'? Don't mind me just watching. Wow, I love your natural hair. When are you gonna straighten it? I'm not. I have no plans. I really don't care for it. I love my natural hair. Do you love yours? 
Are you gonna help me if I get heat damage? Are you gonna maintain it? Are you gonna wrap it? Clients be like, what's the secret to split ends? How do I get rid of my split ends? With a haircut, getting a trim, put down the avocado and the mayo and the egg yolk and come to a salon and get a haircut. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> tomorrow, 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 tomorrow. Because tomorrow, tomorrow is when it's tomorrow, gonna happen. Tomorrow, oh tomorrow, my god. Tomorrow. Okay, screw him. He does not deserve you. No, I cheated on him. Okay, but like, is that your fault? You know, like he could have done more. Shoplifting is such a loose term. Would you take like ten dollars? Five thousand. Five thousand. I mean, like same thing. You know, like if they didn't want it stolen, lock it up. You know, that's not on you. But was it really a hit and run? Yeah, like, I hit him and drove away. Okay, but like, why was he on the sidewalk? You know, like, sir, we're in a pandemic, stay home. You know, honestly, reckless of him. Who killed someone? Yeah, I don't know. Without me, girl. I thought we were best friends. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait a minute. What's this? This ain't enough. Make it enough. <laughs> Michelle O'Connor is globally recognized as five time Naha award winning artist in the categories of texture, avant garde, editorial, and styling and finishing. Her work has graced many industry trades as well as consumer publications such as Modern Salon and InStyle. She is a leader in education and continues to steer the conversation on diversity and inclusion through major worldwide brands. Michelle will now present the Wavy Stylist of the Year category. In the category of wavy hair, the nominees are Angela French. Angela was inspired by her love of the chic and classic pinup era of hairstyling. This shoot was enhanced by a vintage dress passed down from her own grandmother, Angelica Morella Tanta. Angelica believes that continued education plus ambition are the keys to success. However, passion is paramount. Joy Williams. Joy wanted to celebrate the second black woman being crowned USA National Miss. She felt that this was an image befitting a queen. Sandra Henry. Sandra was driven by her commitment to serve each day that she steps into the salon. Sandra makes it her mission to be the best hairstylist she can be. And the 2021 Wavy Hairstylist of the Year goes to Sandra Henry. Text to Star Award like competition is such a great initiative and it is, yeah, for the beauty industry. And I am honored and excited to be part of this amazing journey. Have you heard that a pop in Instagram with beautiful hairstyles is all you need? <laughs> but you found out that's not true. Have you been styling for years but still haven't been able to get your big break? Open the doors to celebrity and high-end hairstyling with these workshops. When I first started, I can only dream of $1,500 days. I didn't know how to coordinate my own photo shoots to create images to promote my talent. I didn't have any idea who the decision makers were. I didn't have anyone to ask these questions. I fell flat on my face and I was forced to go back into a salon when I didn't want to be there. I offer multiple instantly available classes that overview what I did to become a sought after celeb hairstylist. These resources are for you if you're ready to have $1,500 days, you want to be sought after and mentioned in the media, you want to be a traveling bridal stylist, you want to see your work on magazine covers and billboards, or you simply want to work with celebs and you're ready for your big break. Head over to themonelife.com to check out the instantly available classes. The Monet Life Academy was started to assist beauty artists who are ready to take their career to the next level. Our next honor of the night is Beauty Media Personalities of the Year. No industry can thrive without trade publications and media. Texture Style Awards honors Nina Tulio and Jay Ladner of the No Stylist Left Behind podcast for their commitment to diverse guests and inclusive storytelling. The No Stylist Left Behind podcast was created to help stylists reach their full potential by sharing unfiltered stories from industry artists and leaders. 
The stories you hear are from real people that have conquered fear, failure, and risked it all to reach their desired level of success. Nina, a former salon owner and stylist turned business consultant and speaker, and Jay, a salon owner slash stylist and educator, have created this platform to allow you to dig deep, help move past your insecurities, conquer your fears, and become the absolute best version of yourself. Tonight, the Texture Style Awards honors Nina Tulio and Jay Ladner of the No Stylist Left Behind podcast with the 2021 Beauty Media of the Year honor. Hey Slay, hey everyone, it's me, Jay Ladner. And I am Nina Tulio, and thank, thank you. you for the Beauty Media Personality of the Year Award. We are so honored and so thankful because we pride ourselves at No Style of Slept Behind podcast to share inclusive, vulnerable, and open conversations that help elevate the industry. We are truly honored. Thank you so much, Texture Style Awards and Monet for honoring us today. We promise to continue to elevate the beauty industry and create community in our industry. Thank you so, so much from the bottom of our hearts. And thank you for everything that you do to elevate our industry. Up next, the 2021 Curly Hairstylist of the Year presented by Brianna Cisneros. With over 16 years of devoting her time to mastering her craft and developing her unique artistic approach to hairstyling, Brianna's passion spread outside of the salon and into the television and fashion industries. She is routinely invited by television networks to do on-camera makeovers and offer advice as a beauty guru and guest celebrity stylist. Brianna's work has been featured in MTV News, Glamour, Modern Salon, and many more. Now Brianna's focus has been to invest back into the industry she loves so much through her education company, Renegade Royals. She travels globally and partners with brands such as Wella Professionals to spread her message of passion, quality, integrity, and authenticity. The Curly Hairstylist of the Year Award will be presented by Brianna Cisneros. And I accepted this huge honor to be a judge for the Texture Style Awards because I think it is an incredibly important initiative uh, just showcasing all of the natural beauty in each hair texture, in each hair type. And I think there has been a divide in our industry historically. And I think this is just a great coming together of different individuals in our industry and celebrating each other, celebrating each other's hair, each other's work. So it truly is an immense honor. Richard Statton says working in this industry is definitely her pride and joy. She loves the endless possibilities with hair styling through various textures and techniques. Creative looks like this allow people like Haley Garber to explore their client's inner beauty and help them improve in their confidence. Amy Smith reminds us to make time to really nurture your creativity and try new things and give yourself the grace to make mistakes and start again. Joy Williams wants people to see the curves of texture encompassing the gold accents and the overall simplicity of feminine energy when looking at this image. Curly Hairstylist of the Year Award goes to Richard Statton. So excited to have won this award. I'm like so ecstatic. Um, I really appreciate, you know, what the awards stand for. And I'm super excited that my clients voted for me. They were like um, super supportive of everything. Um, I'm just happy to be a part of this and to be among so many um, other beautiful stylists and so many other creatives. Um, I'm so appreciative for all the education that's being offered, the tools, all the prizes. But other than that, I'm just glad to be a part of something so amazing and so fun. Um, but congratulations to all the other finalists and everyone else who entered. Um, I just appreciate winning. Thank you so much. We sincerely thank the competition sponsors from Noella Company, From Professional, and Babyless Pro 
who believed in and supported the diversity and inclusion initiative behind the inaugural Texture Style Awards. Thank you for gifting all of the nominees with an assortment of products and tools that they can use while styling all hair textures. Plus, the first place winner in each category will receive additional mentorship from brand ambassadors from Noella Company. <laughs> the Texture Style Awards honors Kia Neal as the 2021 Change Agent of the Year because every industry needs a shakeup and she is just the woman to do it. While we share a deep passion to celebrate and perfect styling all hair textures, we also understand that the torch has been passed to us from stylists and generations prior, including those who were unable to create platforms that evoked widespread industry change. Kia Neal is an industry activist, diversity, equality, and inclusion strategist, color coach, texture specialist, keynote speaker, ABCH certified and Intercoffee member. They call her the industry agitator. As the first black keynote speaker for the American Board Certified Hair Colorist 2019 Energizing Summit, Kia is noted as saying, the church and the salons are the last two institutions left that are overtly segregated. This is why she is committed to increasing diversity and inclusion in the beauty industry, hence birthing the Texture versus Race movement. During the height of racial uprising, Kia organized Reparations Digital event where 13 major brands came together under one roof to give education and empower the black community. Kia consults with major brands to help incite change within the organizations at their core. Her ultimate goal is to push the message of equality, equity, repair, healing, and the hope to improve the overall landscape of the beauty industry. Kia aims to destroy ignorance with knowledge. Congratulations to Kia Nail, our 2021 Change Agent of the Year. Hello everyone and thank you so much Monet and the Texture Style Awards. This is so awesome. Thank you for honoring me tonight with this award. Truly it is a privilege and an honor to stand before you and say thank you. Uh, texture versus race was not a thought out plan and you could not have told me three, four years ago that I would be standing here giving an acceptance speech for this work that I'm doing. Certainly, I just want you guys to know that Texture versus Race was born out of a vision that was fueled by my purpose. And my purpose was fueled through my experience of trying to be a diverse stylist. That particular journey led me to this, and it was a question that I constantly had that I needed an answer for. How was I going to use my voice to create more diversity, inclusion, and equity in the industry? How was I gonna help move the needle forward and make a difference in this industry? And I understand my gift. My gift is gathering people. My gift is about sharing the information and getting people to have the conversation. That's all I'm doing, but the conversation is being had by so many, and I have to acknowledge that. I have to acknowledge the people that came before me, the people who have, who were forerunners in this movement. Miss Olive Benson, I, I feel like I carry her spirit with me because she ran with the upper, she brushed shoulders with the upper echelons, and she carried the spirit of excellence, and she was exactly the example of black excellence along the way. Um, those that are running alongside me right now, those especially you, Monet, you know we are doing some phenomenal work because we're all using our individual voices and our platforms to make a difference. And that's what it's about. It's about us tearing down the wall of discrimination and racism and injustice. And it's about building a new one that's built upon uh, diversity, inclusion, and equity. It's about creating the environment and creating the industry that we want to see on the other side. It's about making sure that those that come behind us only read about what we're doing and not living and, spe and experience it at all. So I just, to end, I just wanna thank you again for this amazing award, Monet. This is just so great. And, and I stand here humbled. I stand here with just one parting message for everyone that may be watching is that this movement 
has to move with the help of all of us. We're all responsible for one individual brick that that wall is built on and we have to tear it down and we must do our own individual work. And if the movement isn't movement, it's because you're not. So just decide what will you do with your brick and will you, will you actually take that brick down and help us rebuild the wall to a better tomorrow and a better beauty industry. So thank you all so much. I appreciate you. I have nothing but love for this industry and thank you, thank you, thank you. While we can always point out things that separate us, let us never forget to laugh. Comedian Christy Miller has just what we need. And as uh, you know, I am a stand-up comic right here in New York City. And I just wanna let you all know that I am deeply honored to share this virtual stage with you, Monet, and with all of the incredible hairstylists out there. You are all my heroes and you really give a true meaning to the words essential worker. Because essentially with your work, I don't look 51 anymore. <laughs> so I thank you because honey, coming out of this pandemic, I look like I just walked off the set of Witches of Eastwick, if you know what I'm saying, right? <laughs> well, hello, Grace, how you doing? <laughs> oh, thank God for you all. And um, I also just wanna let you know that I do personally recognize all the hazards in your line of work. I mean, the amount of crazy people you see on a daily basis, Girl, <laughs> no sir, no ma'am, no turkey, no ham. Uh, <laughs> the funny stories I've heard from uh, my hairstylist and other friends of mine that are hairstylists. And one of my favorite ones was talking to my friend who actually had a salon and she rented out chairs to other stylists. And uh, her, one of the stylists had her client in the chair and he was a male client. And he was sitting there, she puts the cape on him and she went off to go get something. And uh, he's sitting there in the chair and, you know, his back is to the center of the room and you can see the front of him in the mirror. So my friend's standing there and she notices his hand moving up and down like this super fast, you know, like he's using his shake weight at the wrong place over there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and she was completely mortified. And she's like, oh my God, what do I do? What do I do? So she slowly walks over towards him like nonchalantly walks over and just snatches the cape off and she's like aha i caught you and he jumps he's like oh my god and come to find out he was just cleaning his glasses <laughs> <laughs> oh god it could have ended so much worse you know <laughs> but uh, i just want to let you guys know thank you so much for all your hard work and congratulations to all the winners and to me, you're all winners because, honey, if you can keep the gray out of this, you are my hero. I love you. Have a great time. There's just one category left for the night. Next up, presenting the Kinky Coily Stylist of the Year category is Oliver B. Adams. He is known throughout the beauty industry for his creative flair for hair, as well as his dynamic presence as a hair color educator. Affectionately known as Color King, Oliver is the owner of Splash Studios, Inc. with locations in Atlanta, Birmingham, and Las Vegas. As a top artist and educator for Clear All Professional, he has been a featured platform artist at many national trade shows that include the International Hair Color Exchange, ISSE, Premier, Bronner Brothers, and IBS, just to name a few. I accepted the opportunity to be a Texture Style Awards judge because I love that we're here to celebrate all textures of hair, not just one, but all different categories is a celebration of texture and beautiful fabrics of hair. Aji Hassan, she was encouraged to create hair art from her mood board. From there, she created magic. Brenetta Ashley was inspired by Grace Jones, who always rocked a dope asymmetrical cut. They are fierce, they are strong, they are bold. Inspired by pomegranate and the black woman. Like the fruit, protected with a shell of beauty, confidence, and femininity. She is strong, shapely, and filled with melanin. Corinne Green. She celebrates being black, having beautiful coils, and embracing her creativity unapologetically. 
Renaya Nicole. And the 2021 Coily Stylist of the Year award goes to, drum roll please, Renaya Nicole. Yeah. Oh, oh my goodness. Wow, I'm super excited to be a winner. I, wow. <laughs> Um, thank you to the photographer that seen the vision, Jordan Vision. Wow, thank you, Monet, for hosting this competition. It really gave me a creative outlet to do something different, to challenge myself. Um, shoot day was definitely a long day, but I feel like it was worth it. And I'm definitely so excited. And I can't wait to do something like this again. <laughs> Congratulations to tonight's honorees and category winners. The 2021 Texture Style Awards were both a labor of love and a rally cry to both the entertainment and beauty industries. As beauty professionals, we are ready to see many more forms of beauty. And we know the time is here and now for artists of all backgrounds to receive the opportunities and recognition they deserve. I am thankful that you chose to join us tonight for the first celebration of the Texture Style Awards. <laughs>